So let's find half of three-fourths here on our tape measure or ruler. So right here is the three-fourths, and we want to know what half of that is. So if you think about this, you have fourths. One, two, and then three. Each one of these is a fourth, and then four-fourths, that would just be four divided by four or one. So here's our three-fourths. We want to take half of that. What's probably going to be easier for us to do is to think in eighths. So three-fourths, we have one, two, three, four, five, six eighths. So we can just take three of them, and right there, that's going to be three eighths. So half of three fourths, that equals three eighths, and you can see these distances here are equal. Another way to think about it is we have one, two, three fourths. We could take half of each one of those, so half of three, essentially. Half of three is 1.5, and we still, we're just taking half of four pieces. We'll keep the denominator the same. So this is half of three-fourths. A little bit awkward, though. Why don't we multiply the numerator by 2 and the denominator by 2? Because 2 divided by 2 is 1. So we're not changing the value, just the way it's represented. 1.5 times 2, that equals 3. 4 times 2, that equals 8. And again, we get 3 eighths, which is what we found before. This is kind of nice. You can do this in your head pretty quickly. One last way. So we're saying half of three-fourths, three-fourths divided by two. But instead of two, we could call it two over one, so everything lines up. And we could actually, instead of division, we could multiply by the reciprocal, which means we need to move the two here and the one here. This is kind of more the math way to do it. Now it's just multiplication. Three times one is three. Four times two is eight. And we get the same answer again. That's it. This is Dr. B taking half of three-fourths. The answer is three eights. Thanks for watching.